believe it I'm actually traveling to Europe I, I just can't believe it like when when I found out that I was getting a ticket to Europe I was just like I can backpack in Europe I can get that experience that so many people like say have you ever backpacked in Europe I got my backpack I got it and guess what I'm doing traveling around Europe and I can't wait to meet the Queen eat some pickled duck um let's see shop at rome party in germany get high in amsterdam maybe not because i don't smoke but i shall tell you how everything goes peace peace i gotta go or i'll miss my flight I did so much in Europe that I really can't put it all in one video. I have to say like if I did it, it would be like a series because it's just too much. Um, let's see. I will tell you the three top most things, best things that I did in Europe. Let's see. Let's see. Oh yeah. When I first went to Europe, I went to London. And guess who I met in London? Like for all of you Harry Potter fans, yes indeed, I met Harry Potter. An actor? No, no, he's not an actor. No, I'm not, I'm not talking about whatever they call him. Well, what's, what? Radcliffe? No, I'm talking about the real Harry Potter. The one that does magic, the witch. The guy who has the lightning bolts. I swear to you that I bet him because he taught me some, some, some magic. Look, look, see? Oh, wait, wait, I'm doing it wrong. Uh, oh, I need my wand. It's not working. <laughs> told you I could do some magic. I told you. I met Harry Potter. And I met Hermione and Ron and his brothers and Ron's sister and their whole family. So, after I met Harry Potter, the next best thing I did in London was I got to learn English. Do you want to know? You want to hear? You want to hear how I learned English? Okay. English, let's say, I hopped on the dot to the next stop. I am now officially multilingual. When I went to France, OMG, when I went to France. You know how so many people think like French people are rude? All you have to say is that you're from Canada and they won't even be mean to you. I was in a group, I was in this tour group um, and we kind of went off the tour and um, we met this native and some of the people were like, yeah, I'm from America, we did this, this and that. And I kid you not, the French were like, we don't want to talk to you. While I said I was from Canada and they're like, so nice to me. All you have to say is you're from Canada and you have no problem. And I also was able to go to the south of France, which is beautiful. But yeah, they have some new beaches. I decided not to go. Some of the weird guys invited me and I was like, sorry, no, I don't, I don't do that. I don't, nude beach? I mean, I have a nude beach in my bathroom. Where in the world is alcohol harmony? For y'all's information, I have a riddle diddle for you. Riddle diddle. So, for you to figure out where this third, seventh person people is in our where in the world is seven people around the world. Where in the world? Yes, that makes sense. I have this riddle for you, and let's see if you can figure out where Durand is. This continent has the highest mountains. 
the longest sidewalk ever, the most crowded city can produce the largest waves, and it also has a big percentage of the smartest people in the world. Where is Durand? Did you figure it out yet? Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown and Jill came tumbling after. Up got Jack and home did he trot as fast as he could caper. Went to bed and bound his head with a vinegar and brown paper. When Jill came in, how she did grin to see Jack's paper plaster. Mother vexed and whip her necks for causing Jack's disaster. Poor Jill for getting whipped. I can't blame her for laughing because, you know, Jack got hurt. But she had to get whipped. On the second nursery rhyme, Jack be nimble. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. Jack jump over the candlestick. Jill be nimble, jump it too. If Jack can do it, so can you. Now, I don't understand why did Jill get whipped and Jack is the one that's causing all the trouble. Well, other than that, that's the end of my bad accent telling you a story. I had a very fun time making this video and that in that I shall say thank you for those who have voted for me to be in the playoffs. We all know that Garrison should have been in it because he, of course he was top two. Him and then Barrett and then why do I keep saying Barrett? I have Barrett on my mind. So people, thank you for watching. Um, vote for me if you want. If you don't like my videos, if you want another mail, if you want seven sausages, wait, six sausages, and then um, a cherry on seven people, go ahead. If that's what you want. If you want two cherries and then seven sausages, vote for me. Um, either way, vote for what you like, not because what I just said. Um, I feel like I'm running for president or something, but yeah. If I'm on seven people, I'll try my best to be original and creative as much as I can and not be like somebody else that some people think I am. I can't stop being myself. I can't. So, if you don't like it, don't vote. If you do, vote. 